What's up, Spirit Squad? This is Pixie from Pixie Moons. Thank you for joining me once again. If you are new here, my name is Pixie. I make pick a card videos, card readings, uh, Reiki videos, videos about spirituality. So if you are interested in any or all of those things, by all means, subscribe. Join the Spirit Squad today. And while you're there, remember to ring my bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I upload as much as I can for you guys. Today, I am bringing you a quick and cute <laughs> pick a card for the next 48 hours. I am going to drop a thumbnail right here so you can pause the video, pick a pile or more if you are so inclined. Remember, I am talking about energy and energy is always fluid and changing so nothing is set in stone. If something doesn't vibe with you, just let it go. As usual, I have not seen the cards. I'm going to discover them with you guys. And I believe that's all for the PSA, <laughs> I think. You know how we roll. And if you don't know, you will know. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into it. Pal number one, if you picked the clear quartz. This is going to be your reading. If you are new and you don't know how I operate, I usually use playing cards. I don't have to write. But today, I just wanted to go completely different. So we have uh, Japanese and Kamai cards for you guys. Let's see what we have. We have number 21 with the blue ray. Ooh. We have number 23 with the goat. The goat. You guys might be a Capricorn or Pisces with this blue ray. We have number two, the pen, and number 12 with the zebra. Yo, this is cool. We have two, 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 two. Angel numbers, two, 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 two. You might be seeing that a lot. We have three, three, three. You might be a life path 33, like me. And we also have one, one. Okay. So what's happening with you guys? I see uh, throat chakra vibes right here. Uh, also emotions and intuition. I feel like you guys are diving deep into your emotions. You guys might be journaling, doing some shadow work, if um, that's something you know about and you want to explore. I feel like it's time for a shift in perspective for you guys. Like not always seeing things in black and white. While at the same time, Asserting your uniqueness. This is the energy of like going and getting it. I'm also, I have to say, you guys might be a horse in Chinese astrology that just came up, but yeah. Um, heart chakra with the pink and the green. So, yeah, you guys might have things to talk about with somebody, things to sort out, to clear, or you want to delve into your emotions, or you might be writing to somebody, doesn't have to be in pen, but uh, I feel like you guys have something that you need to like get off of your chest, get off your chest, get off your chest. It might be something with a Capricorn or a nerve sign. Yeah, communicating with someone 
uh, reaching out to someone. Might be someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Because when you see the goat is like looking back at us. But I feel like it's definitely going to make you feel better in the end. So if this is something that's kind of like pressuring you or making you feel sad or anxious, then uh, communication is always the best. That's what I always say. I'm very big on communication. I'm a nair sign. So yeah, just go for it. And if you have something to say, say it and remember um, to mind your words, obviously, but also don't try to fit into people's expectations of you. You are unique. You are you. Uh, some of us, we need to climb that mountain, but we need to climb alone. And there's nothing wrong with that. We climb alone because we can. I hope that makes sense. You guys, I'm going to stop right here. I would like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides, and spirit for this beautiful message. If it resonates, let me know Drop a comment down below, and until I see you again, remember, you're supported, you're protected, and you're divinely guided. Bye. Part number two, with the Royce Quartz. This is your reading. I decided to uh, bust out the Khmer cards and the Japanese cards again. For those of you who don't know, I don't have a tarot. I mostly use playing cards, but today I just wanted to do something different. So here we go. We have number 10, the hammer. This is Kamai, by the way. Ooh, we have 21 with the X. You guys. And 11 with the Sakura. Right, the cherry blossom. We have 1111. You guys might be seeing that number a lot. Um, 1111, of course. I feel like new beginnings for you guys. You guys are literally building something. You guys are literally building something. So the next 48 hours, you might literally be uh, assembling IKEA <laughs> furniture, <laughs> some of you. Or this is like kind of like a new start. You might be ah, you might be um, moving into a new home. This is super exciting. Congratulations. You might, uh, with the flower, I'm also getting garden, obviously, so you might be kind of like tending to your plants. Or oh, something is definitely changing. I want to say um, something is being birthed or uh, there is something renewed. I feel like it's... It's the beginning of something, or it's, it feels like a new start in something. For some of you, obviously, you are building, creating your own reality. You are getting rid of things that are not of service to you. You kind of like releasing, releasing them to have better things bloom and come in for you. This is super exciting. Uh, so the plexus chakra vibes, definitely here as well. With all the yellow, this is something that you are passionate about that's making you feel super confident. Uh, something that you had been wanting to do for a while, for some of you. I'm feeling like strong, assertive, kind of Aries vibes, maybe Leo. 
you guys might be a fire sign, you don't have to be, or you have fire in your chart. But it could also be something in love because we have number 11. Some of you might resonate with the um, soulmate, twin flame, you know, 11 11. Uh, there's also a lot of pink, so heart chakra and blue for emotions. But I'm getting like this is more hands on for you guys. This is more like practical. So, yeah, you might be fixing things around the house. Yeah, I'm here in fixing a hall by the Beatles. So, maybe there were literally like repairs to be done. So the house feels kind of like fresh and new. But yeah, I feel like a, a wind of change sweeping in for you guys. So. Yep, very decided, very assertive. You guys know what to do. You know what to do, you know where to go, you know how to do it. So, I'm very excited for you guys. Let me know if this reading resonates. Drop a comment down below. I'd like to take the time to thank my guides, your guides, and spirit itself for this beautiful message. And until I see you again, remember, you are protected, you are supported, and you are divinely guided. Bye. Pan number three, with the amethyst. Beautiful stone. All right, this is your reading. You guys know, or if you are new, I don't use tarot. I don't have a tarot. Um, I use playing cards, but today I wanted to do something a little bit different. So we busted out the Khmer cards and the Japanese cards again. We have, oh, this animal. What's that? It's a ferret. She doesn't know. Uh, it's a... Um, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. I'm sorry. This is number 24. Numbers might be of importance to you. Oh my god, an otter. Is it an otter? You guys. I'm sorry. We also have. Uh, oh, it's a pot. Which is number 9. I'm hearing a house number for somebody. Somebody lives in a house number nine. Ichigo. Okay, this is the strawberry. As you can see, it is number two. We have two number twos. One number nine, one number six. What is going on with you, pal three? I feel like something juicy. We have a uh, heart chakra vibes and some blue, some emotion, uh, something is leaving you um, feeling satisfied with uh, because you can see the fish in its mouth, or actually the opposite. Some of you might be wanting more of something because you see the pot has holes in it. I feel like you guys are ready for like something new to come in. Or you are ready for more of something, actually. But, okay, I'm gonna bust out my Rogeria deck. For those of you who don't know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shuffle a bit on camera. Uh, there is mutable energy going on 
because the otter it goes in the water but also lives on land right so there's kind of like this shapeshifter aspect to you so you might be a mutable sign like virgo gemini pisces what's the other one sagittarius you don't have to be but i feel like you guys okay um you might be looking after something or you feel like you don't have enough of something and you need more or something like that like you were expecting something and it didn't happen we have 34 heart chakra again with the letter 42 that's another six because the other one was 24 uh, 26 the eyes of saint lucy Maybe you guys were waiting for a message from a certain person. This to me speaks of um, extending the olive branch. So maybe you felt like something was incomplete without a certain something or a certain someone and you're kind of waiting for the other person to reach out because you had good moments with them. But there is something that you're not quite seeing there. Or maybe you're waiting for this message so it can bring you clarity, so you can see. Let's see, bottom of the deck. 18, this is like the novelette. So essentially, it's gonna be a lot of overthinking for you guys. Thinking things through, thinking things over. Uh, remember to ground. Remember to ground. Uh, I said you might be navigating the waters of emotions but remember to stay with your head above water stay grounded if you have a tendency to be a little bit over all over the place like mutable signs tend to then uh, grounding is gonna be very beneficial for you because I also see um, Purple, which to me just speaks of the crown chakra. So, if you are missing somebody, I would say reach out to them and uh, try not to get overwhelmed with the chatter of the mind. Meditate, uh, move your body, do something that kind of gets you out of this state of mind and definitely if you need to communicate definitely communicate I'm an advocate for communication absolutely so power three that was your reading I hope it resonates let me know in the comments below I'd like to take the time to thank your guides my guides and spirit for this message <laughs> and until I see you again remember you're protected you are supported and you are divinely guided. Bye. Last but not least, pound number four. With the turquoise, I know I always say that, but I also edit my own videos so I know <laughs> which part is the last one. Um, I don't have a tarot deck if you're new here. I usually use playing cards, but today I wanted to do something different. So I've got the Kamai cards and the Japanese cards. Here we go, we have the horse number 30. You guys might be a horse in Chinese astrology. We have the hand, number 14. 
and we have 25, which is the saw. Okay, I see, um, nope, <laughs> what is it? Solar plexus, I see solar plexus vibes, and also heart chakra emotions. You guys want some freedom from something? You want to, you want to like cut away? from something, like cut cords with something or somebody, uh, because you feel like it's weighing on you, but I feel this is more like a spiritual freedom. I don't know why I'm getting Sagittarius vibes. You guys might be Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart, you don't have to. For some of you, this is about um, giving a hand to somebody. So maybe somebody's moving out or moving in and you're kind of helping, it, helping them out. Kind of um, helping out with uh, repairs, DIY. But I feel like it's liberating for you somehow. So you're either helping out or you're kind of reaching out for people to help you because you had too much on your plate and you need like a couple of extra hands. But this is not a burden. This is making you feel good and feel more like um, in place, if that makes sense. For some of you, this is about work. You got promoted and you're kind of supervising and being responsible for other people. So it's kind of like everybody um, lends a hand. But I feel like the next 48 hours, you guys are feeling more free. This is like, uh, a weight that's been lifting, lifted up from your shoulders. And you're kind of feeling more decisive, more confident about yourself. For some of you, uh, I'm seeing also reaching out to people who are far away. So it might be family, it might be friends, people who uh, are at a distance from you and you're kind of reaching out uh, spending time with them chatting with them or really helping out with more like on a being on an emotional kind of support system kind of level so this is what I got for you pal number four Hopefully this reading resonates. Let me know in the comments below. As usual, I'd like to take the time to thank your guides, my guides and spirit itself for this beautiful message. And until I see you again, remember, you're supported, you're protected and you are divinely guided.